He speaks French and and he says bonjour. Bonjour. He always makes me spaghetti bolognese for dinner. Yum yum. <laughs> and that's our friend the alien. Bye. Bonjour. Come on outside. There's adventure waiting out there just for you. Them all. <laughs> They're so tiny. Hey. Good morning, Heyman. Hey. What is it with ants? They're always so busy and in such a hurry. I wonder, do ants sleep? Hey. Yes, we need to get a closer look. Can you see if ants close their eyes, Heyman? Do they have eyelids? Hey. Yeah, I can't see either. They're so little. The world must look huge to them. We must seem like giants. Hey! Well, if they do sleep. They must have really tiny pajamas. <laughs> See you later. You can't possibly be too busy. Can you just stand still for one minute? What are you doing, Ken? Standing still for one minute? Oh, no, not you. The ants. Okay, forget the ants. We don't need them. I'll call this stunt the anti-gravity stunt. It sounds uh, dangerous, Grubby. Oh, this is going to be the best stunt ever. If you say so, Grubby. Morning, Dirt Girl. Need some help? Good morning, Scrap Boy. Come here and take a look at this. Careful. I'm trying to work out where the ants sleep. Can you see where the ants have eyelids? Oh, they are so little, I can hardly see their heads. I know. If only we could get a closer look. Here, try my magnifying glass. You have to keep it out of the direct sunlight so you don't harm the ants. Like this. Oh, interesting. Come and check this out. Eyes, definitely. But I'm still not close enough to see eyelids and no closer to finding out whether ants sleep. Oh, we need something with stronger magnification. Oh, I'll see what I can do. It is unlikely, Ken, that the handlebars would come off again. You would have to be very unlucky. If you say so, Grubby. <laughs> The biggest sunflower I have ever grown. Isn't it enormous? It doesn't understand English. You see, it's a giant Russian sunflower. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Dirt Girl. What's your name? See, nothing. This is its stem. It's so thick, it's more like a little tree trunk. It has big leaves and an enormous flower. Here are the petals and here are the seeds. Hundreds of seeds. The seeds are really useful. You can eat them. If you crush thousands and thousands of them, you can make sunflower oil. Or you can plant just one sunflower seed and grow a whole new sunflower. Imagine how many sunflowers I can grow next year just from this one sunflower. 
to grow a sunflower, all you need is just one sunflower seed. <laughs> Calling all green thumbs. I challenge you, can you grow a sunflower? It's almost as big as your head. Yellow like the sun. Hello. Thank you, Green Thumbs. Hi, Scrap Boy. Dirt Girl speaking. I found where the trail of ants starts and finishes. It's some sort of hill. Over. It must be their home. Over. Maybe this is where they sleep. Over. We need to get a closer look. I'll come over. Over and out. Now, using my latest invention, the Antiscope. It's a super-powered underground telescope. Now, let's see whether ants close their eyes or sleep. <gasps> no eyelids! So... If ants don't have eyelids, maybe they don't sleep at all. Hmm. Maybe they don't need eyelids to sleep. You should ask Grubby. She speaks perfect ant. <laughs> OK, OK. Here's a lowdown. Ants don't actually sleep. They just stand still for about eight minutes twice a day. And even more amazing, Ants smell and taste and feel and talk to each other all with their antennae. That's why you see them touching antennae all the time. Gosh, and I just thought they were being friendly. Well, there you have it. Now I have to go to Rigolon. See you at the arena. Stunt time. <laughs> And squeeze and squeezel. <laughs> Whoa. You ants are not helping. Watch out for the wheel. No, no, much, honey. Help me? I'm kinda stuck here. Help! Ants are amazing. They don't sleep. They can walk upside down. They smell with their antennae. And they help the soil. Little things do make a big difference. Little things. Each little thing by itself isn't much, but if each other 
guess who is hiding behind the oranges? She loves spending wild time outdoors. She loves planting seeds and growing vegetables in the garden. She's friends with Grubby. Why don't you say something? Wildflowers are flowering plants which grow naturally. Have you guessed who it is? It's Dirt Girl from Dirt Girl World, which you can only see here on CBeebies. is shaped like a house. It's a square and then there's a triangle on top of it. It has a big nose and his head is a square. <laughs> his tummy is um, a, um, a fish tank with loads of fish in it. His feet are made of trains so he can go really fast. Well, he has about like six arms and his hands are fish toes. <laughs> it's wearing a belly tutu and a cape. The skirt is a bit big for him and it always falls down. He lives in a spaghetti forest. 